guys, I'm Laura Vitale, and on this episode of Laura in the Kitchen, I want to show you my version of Baja fish tacos. Um, I love this recipe, and I think you will too. They're versatile, they're easy, they're delicious, and most of the components of, for this can be made ahead of time. Perfect for when you're having a few people over, special, especially in the middle of a busy work week. So, let me run you through what you'll need. We're gonna make a batter because we are gonna fry them, but I am gonna show you how I make my shrimp version that's not fried. For the batter, you will need flour, all-purpose flour, salt, chili powder, onion, parsley, garlic, a beer. You could also, if you don't want to use beer, you can use uh, mineral water. Then what you'll need to make, um, call it, it's not really a slaw, like the cabbage topping. I've got red cabbage, thinly sliced lime, a little bit of honey, some salt, and some cilantro. So we have that. For the star of the show, which is a sauce <laughs> that goes on top of the whole thing, you need equal parts mayo, sour cream, some chipotle in adobo. This is the, the sort of the juice from the can, but you can also just take one uh, chipotle in adobo and you can just cut it up really nice and fine. You need a little bit of garlic, and I'm going to add a little bit of lime and some salt to that. And then in terms of fish, I'm using a mixture of cod and tilapia because I had a couple pieces in my freezer I wanted to use and you can use any fish that you want for this. Everything works perfect. If you don't want to deep fry and you don't want to do a mar uh, like a beer batter, I'm going to take some shrimp and my blackened seasoning and I'm just going to season them and I'm going to saute them really quickly and they're going to be phenomenal with everything else that we've got going on. So that's an option as well, which I'll show you in just a little bit. I just realized I lost a knife. So let me go get my knife and my whisk and we get cooking. Okay, I'm just gonna take my lime. I'm gonna, the first thing I'm gonna do is work on my slaw so it can sit for a little bit and ideally, you would do this ahead of time and pop it in the fridge and it will sit and get even more delicious if you can believe that. I like a good bit of lime. Let's do a whole lime because it's not too, too juicy. And then we're gonna offset some of that acidity with a squeeze of honey. This is really good local honey that we've got from literally our, just around the corner from my house. Just a little squeeze. And then some salt. Balance, always good. Life and food. Give this a tossy toss, and if you make this literally the morning of and you stick it in the fridge, it will marinate and will down a little bit and be absolutely phenomenal. Let me just give it, mm. oh. Mm-hmm, oh, it's amazing. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and toss everything up for my sauce. I just want a little bit of lime juice for that. Not too, too much. I feel like this sauce is maybe the best part of this whole thing. I don't know. It sure is delicious. A little pinch of salt. Mix that up. You're gonna get really lovely smokiness from the chipotle, but if you don't have it or you don't want to use it, you can just go ahead and use a little bit of chili powder and that will be fabulous. Let's give it a try. Oh, that is sublime. So now we have that. We've got our oil nice and hot. I'm going to go ahead and make the batter. The batter is really easy, really simple. You're going to take all your spices and your all-purpose flour. You're going to give those a little mix and you're going to add your beer. This is going to give you a really nice light batter. You're looking for the consistency of like like pancake mix. You want it thick enough to coat the fish, but not um, certainly not too thick, but not too thin. Otherwise, it's not really going to coat that well. So and I add a little bit at a time. It's usually like a cup and a cup, you know, maybe a little bit more beer than flour. Okay, batter is perfect. You're going to take each piece shake off the excess, add it to your hot oil. It's not gonna take very long for the fish to cook, so don't walk away. And like I said, you can really use just about any fish for this you want to. Um, very versatile, great for using up any bits and pieces you may have left over, like I did. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do this, and then I wanna show you uh, really quickly what I'll be working with behind me. All right, let that go. You don't want to overcrowd your pan. All I'm going to do is I'm going to take some shrimp. I left the tail on, the shelled and deveined, and I've got some more of my blackened seasoning. I will link the the recipe. I will link this in the written recipe on my website. 
I'm going to coat the shrimp in this and I'm going to just saute them in a skillet until they're cooked through and then that way we have another option for those that don't want to eat fried fish or somebody like me that wants to eat both. <laughs> okay, so everything's ready. Uh, the shrimp, you, you can see exactly how I saute this if you want to, if you go look at the latest blackened shrimp Caesar salad um, on my website, then you'll see exactly how, it, but I literally just put seasonings on it, popped in a skillet, delicious. So, I'm gonna go ahead and go with the fried one today because, you know, it's what I do. You take a couple pieces, okay? It also makes fish go a lot further. I'm gonna use my hands, clean hands, don't worry. Okay, you do a little bit of this. I need a little bit of red onion, so I did get some red onion, a little bit of red onion. I just like it, you know what I mean? And then, literally the best thing is your Baja sauce. So good, just you wait. And then just, just you wait until you hear the crunch of the fish. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna need more sauce. Cause the sauce is boss, that is. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm. That is divine. You will love it. If you don't, we may not be able to be friends. That's how good it is. Go to lauraandthekitchen.com. I will have everything written for you. You will love it. I promise. Hope you enjoy spending time with me. I'll see you next time. Bye.